Josh, I've seen you in a lot of family films now. I love Zathora and Bridge of Terabithia. And what's the biggest difference for you in making a film in 3D versus the typical film you're used to? You know, it's interesting because there's really no difference for us as actors. You know, we got to do the same stuff. It was the same acting. We didn't have to play to the camera any differently. The only difference was it was a camera that had like two lenses side by side that shot the right eye and the left eye. Other than that, it was the same for us, which is really nice actually. We didn't Wait, have to even when you're, you're like with the yo-yo and stuff and you're, you didn't have to think about like, oh, I want to like skew it toward the camera a little bit. That's going to look so cool. No, I didn't. A director told me a couple of times like there's some yo-yo tricks I had to do at the camera just yeah. to get that end of the audience thing. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it was really, you know, straightforward. It's just a movie that happens to be in three. And at the beginning, your character, Sean, mm -hmm. has sort of a bad attitude at the beginning of the film. <laughs> and I'm wondering how much fun you had, like, throwing that toot at Brendan. Oh, it was great. I loved it. I loved it. I love his reactions, too. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, like, priceless. It was awesome. You know, throwing that toot to Brendan was very much myself. So it was easy and fun to do. <laughs> so if you were actually trapped in the center of the earth with two people, who would you choose to have with you? Whew. I would hope they'd be some sort of explorers or some sort of... I don't know what, some sort of like maybe like Bear Grylls from that show's um, Man in the Wild right. on uh, Discovery Channel, because mm -hmm. he knows how to get out of any situation. Mm -hmm. So maybe he could help us survive a long time down there. Yeah, that would be helpful. That would be very helpful. Um, that scene where you're spinning around on the rock, uh -huh. you know, was that, that's like the magnetic rock? Yep. Were you actually spinning around? I was. And were you actually hanging on on your own, or do you have a harness or any help there? I had like, a I harness. I couldn't have done it. I was like, that that took some kind of strength. It was crazy, yeah. They I had a harness, like, if I did fall off, but they wanted me to hang on as much as I could, so it seemed as most real as possible. That was hard, though, because there was nothing really to grab onto. Right. You're kind of, like, bear-hugging the rock, so it yeah. wasn't that really that easy to do. Mm -hmm. But no, they had, like, mats and stuff underneath and a harness, so it was, like, super protected. Which of all of the stunts and, you know, effect scenes, which was the most challenging? The most challenging, actually, was the, the big drop scene, because in that scene, we had to be in these harnesses hanging for like five hours that day with wind blowing in our faces and screaming at the top of our lungs. Mm -hmm. So it was like at the end of the day, I was like talking like this, probably like I will today. Oh, just from screaming all the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. So it was, it was nonstop. And do you have a comment about like young actors in Hollywood? We use a lot of your female you know, peers get a lot of flack in, in yeah, the media they deserve stuff. It. What, that you think? <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't be doing that stuff. That's so messed up. You know, I think you you have this amazing career in front of you and you have all these indulgences in your life that you could have with your money and your fame. Right. And instead, you're going to go ruin your life by doing bad substances, which I don't understand anyways because that, I think, just comes from insecurities because I think you can go and have a good time without having to drink or smoke or anything like that. I think it's dumb what they do. Very cool. You sound yeah. very well adjusted. Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks a lot.